Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Herbie's Garage. Well, we're back home. Here's the camper. Got her back in the driveway, and I had to cut the grass. Grass was getting tall. So I thought, you know what? It's kind of early morning. I'm going to make a little breakfast run, and I'm going to take one of my favorite bikes out. I'm going to take my Life in KPM 200. Gotta get my riding jacket. As you can see, I've got two. The blue one is more for winter. Here's a liner for this one that I've got on right now. It's basically just a mesh jacket now. Really need that in the summertime. You don't want all that heat retention, you know what I mean? So, and there's my wife's KPV 150. Well, we had a lot of fun with that. That is such a nice scooter. Get my gloves on here. Sometime later today, I'm going to take out my FJR and probably my Ghost. You guys haven't seen that in a while. I don't know if I'll do a video on that yet or not. I just posted one. Get it off the center stand. I tell you what, if you guys don't have a center stand on your KPM, you ought to look into getting one. So handy. I've got 767 miles on it. You gotta love this bike. It starts good, runs good. Great fuel economy. I just posted a video on that KPV. Man, oh man, 100 miles per gallon. That's actual riding miles per gallon too. And I wasn't babying it, I was riding it everywhere when I rode it. Which was quite a bit. I may have to get me one for myself, I like them so much. Starting out to be a nice day. It'll be hot though, but that's okay. You guys seen my top speed video on this bike? I got it up to 77 GPS miles per hour. It was 80 on the speedometer, I think. 80 or 81. I think it was 80 and uh, since then I've got it up to 83 on the speedometer so I'm sure I'm probably hitting close to 79 maybe even 80 with a stock gearing setup I'm gonna have a video coming out not too long um, I'm probably going to order another chain and I'm going to put a 17 tooth sprocket on the front of it and then I'll do another top speed run. I'm going to see what kind of top speed I can get out of it with a 17 2. I've been asked uh, what kind of modifications I've done to the bike. The only thing I've done is put an exhaust on it. I have not changed the chain, I have not changed the gearing, I have not done anything with the air box. You know, I've heard of guys, you know, taking the snorkel out of it, taking the rubber boot off around it, the foam inserts, all different sorts of things. And while I don't know if that'll hurt it, uh, I don't know if it's helping it. You know, I, ha I did that on my KPR, to be honest, and I don't know if it's a mental thing, but you hear that noise coming out of the airbox, and it makes you think you're going faster, but actual GPS, I don't know if it makes a difference. And I'll tell you one negative thing about it, um, I think it's running lean when it gets so much airflow, and the reason I say that is, first thing in the morning, when I took off with the KPR, 
when I went to accelerate hard it would cut out now once it warmed up it was fine it didn't cut out anymore but that was first thing in the morning well as we all know when the engine's cold it requires more fuel so it's a telltale sign that it was not getting enough fuel and it was running lean so I decided on this bike I wasn't going to do that put my camera down just a little bit I decided I wasn't going to do that. I decided what I was going to do is leave my airbox intact and see if it makes a difference. And it did. I, it doesn't cut out in the morning. Um, it may just very slightly, occasionally, if I get on it really hard before it's warmed up, sometimes it does. But it runs so good with the, the airbox the way it is and i don't have all that noise i think it's kind of a waste of time sorry to tell you guys that but that's just my opinion i think it's a waste of time to do anything with the airbox sometimes you're better off just leaving things alone and i think that's one of the things you're better off leaving alone now if you do some major modifications of some sort then maybe but when you got a fuel injected engine and you don't have a way to remap or retune or anything like that then you're better off just putting an exhaust on it if that's what you choose to do and leave everything else alone and ride it that's what i'm doing and this bike rides so good and runs so good the only thing you know with the 17 2 sprocket is it was good on my kpr uh, well actually i had a 16 tooth on it but the gearing is different on that it's actually the same gearing it just has different sprockets the rear sprockets different and um, so a 16 tooth on that would the gearing would be equivalent to a 17 tooth along with this rear sprocket that's stock as the kpr so the 17 tooth would essentially be the same as the 16 tooth on the kpr and I did enjoy the 16 tooth on the KPR. There were times I noticed that it didn't have the power to pull through. Um, some real windy days and stuff. And of course, you know, I mean, it's only a 17 horse motor, only a 200 cc, and it will be like that. It's just a fact of life, you know, on the bike. I mean, it does everything so well, but it's not a monster race bike you know and i think that um the, the lowered rpm and cruising was really nice i think it actually increased the miles per gallon i got as well so there's positives and negatives about it um, the stock gearing the way it is on this bike in my opinion it is almost perfect to the power to the engine that's why i almost hate to change it but you know how it goes you gotta see you gotta see if you like it or not and it's not that big a deal to change it, it doesn't take very long the worst parts adjusting the chain and all that kind of stuff but it's not hard to do so i will do it You know, I like riding different bikes and, you know, the um, Life and KPD is automatic and man, it is so smooth and fun to ride, but I miss shifting. I really like to shift, <laughs> so I like riding this bike. I think the next time we'll go camping, if I don't have a scooter for myself or something small to put in the truck, I may just take this so me and my wife could ride together. She's doing better. She still isn't uh, proficient at it. She still has some issues starting and stopping, but she does really well. And the ground is off level. You know, like at a campground, pulling into the rock driveway to park the bike, you know, and you get off level, it's kind of unnerving to her. I'm talking and I'm paying attention, not going fast enough. Oh, I love this bike. Woo! <laughs> um, but 
case you didn't know, she's new, she's learning. And she's really picking it up quick, I think. She's kind of getting frustrated that she hasn't picked it up quicker. But I think she's doing really well. And it won't be long, she'll be feeling confident in herself enough to maybe try to take the motorcycle safety course and get her license. I don't really want to see her out riding the highways with it, but riding around the neighborhood, riding around uh, visiting our daughter, you know, things like that. That's not too far away. Maybe run into the store or something. She needed something. Give her a little enjoyment. I was asked today in one of the comments if I ever thought about getting the life and like on. I really think that is a cool bike. It's a twin cylinder 250. And it's a big bike. It looks like a big bike anyway. Uh, I know Jerry Hawk 250 just got one. And he's been enjoying his. It seems to me that uh, they're really comfortable. It looks like it's got a comfortable seat and laid back handlebars. Looks like you could really just, I'd like to, if I got one, put a, a driver's backrest on it. Because it has those laid back handlebars where you would kind of uh, rest well against the backrest. I'd like to see what that looks like. I think that'd be a comfortable ride. I love the sound of them, that's for sure. That's one of the bikes I don't think I would do anything with the exhaust. It may, uh lose some particles out of the catalytic converter or something like that <laughs> over time if you know what i mean but uh, i don't think i would change the exhaust this bike's still full of fuel this one goes forever before i have to fuel it as well In today's economy, with the price of gas the way it is, it sure is nice to be able to have that. I get, uh, my Honda CRV does pretty good. I get about 24, 25 miles on average per gallon on that. But if I have to go anywhere, I'd much rather take something that gets 80 miles per gallon. I love camping. My wife, I think my wife loves it more than I do. It's just nice to get away and um, have a little us time, I guess. Even though we have an empty house now, it's just it's just kind of nice to get away and do something different. You know, even though we're together, basically doing the same things we normally do, which we do some things different. We used to go fishing and uh, stuff like that. We don't do that much anymore, but once in a while but we took some walks did some bicycle riding they even had a swimming pool there we were gonna go swimming but I got issues with my skin being old like I am you know and I'm out in the sun too much as a kid you know I had long blonde hair as a kid blue eyes long blonde hair and out getting tans all the time stupid kind of ruined my skin. I've already had a big spot of skin cancer removed on my left arm. Had to have it surgically removed. Now I've got another spot on my left arm. Of course that's been probably 10 years ago I had that taken out. Now i got another spot on that arm. And uh, the doctor said it's probably from wearing short sleeve shirts and hanging your arm out the window with the window down which he's right i did that all the time didn't have much air conditioning if it did i didn't use it much so i got to be careful about the sun and i didn't really want to get out in it too much My wife she's part indian part native american so um, it wouldn't bother her a bit 
I feel bad because I kind of held her back from going swimming, but <laughs> you know, we tried to do a lot of things together. But mostly we were just relaxing. Okay. Here I am, I'm at Panera Bread, St. Louis Bread Company. Now I'm gonna go in and get me some breakfast. I don't know if you guys know this, but I got a, an alarm on this thing. Let's see, I'll set it for you. Love it. Now if anybody messes with it, the alarm will go off. Yeah, I disarmed it so I could put my helmet on it. <laughs> I don't want it going off. I've done that before. I come out and I forget about it and I take my helmet off and the thing starts blaring in my ear. It scares me to death. But I'd rather have that than come out and not have my motorcycle there. Like I, I just love this bike. Look at it. Isn't it, isn't it awesome looking? The windshield looks good on it and just the uh, mirrors, the turn signals. The way that squared off just looks so good. The color combinations, silver front fender and the white and black on the tank and the white and black side cover or silver and black. Golly, it looks good. That tank and that uh, trunk back there looks good on it too. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I'm going to go get me some breakfast and I'll see you on the next one.